Sup Tarot Nerds, and I'm not just talking about that Facebook group. Which you should totally check out by the way, they're a really good Facebook group. I'm Blue6 and you can follow me on Blue6 Tarot on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, today I'll be doing a weekly forecast for the 10th to the 16th of June. Once again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, you can also hit that little bell at the bottom. So in time I upload a video, you can get a notification. So, rolling on to the intro. <laughs> Okay, so for this week's reading, we'll be using the Da Vinci Tarot from the Scarabino. There's a lot of O's in that one. Anyway, um, I've been using these for the weekly spread, uh, for the daily card reading. So once again, if you follow me on the social medias, you'll see the you'll see these as the card of the day. So draw a nice quick shuffle. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Once again, if you're new to the uh, channel. Uh, this card's for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Kind of selfish, but actually, really. But uh, I really, I'm really quite enjoying it. Been using these cards for the week, and uh, I've been really enjoying them. Really nice bits of art, as you can imagine, because it's Da Vinci. So, so Monday and Tuesday, and the seven, sorry, the six of swords, and that's kind of that's kind of cool. That's uh, it's a horseman. Uh, I'm not going to enter a Bojack reference, but. So the week, so the next week kind of starts off on a bit of a low, but it's kind of on a, on a it's on a, starts on a small journey. You're starting out the week kind of, uh, kind of slow, but there is a, but you're going in a particular direction. There's actually a thing you wish to achieve this week, and it's manifesting. Well, it's manifesting in this card. So you're. The reason it's a bit slow is because you're kind of doing this on your own. Now, usually with the six, uh, usually with the six of swords, um, it's um, at least in the case of the Rider weight, they are it's a, one ferryman and a woman and child. So obviously this is someone on their own. So this is something you didn't necessarily want to do on your own, but unfortunately you're in the situation where that's all you can really do. You've not really been given much of a choice but to do this on your own. But um, you're making your way through, which is why I said why it's feeling a little slower. And um, it's kind of got that, you kind of feel like you're on your own doing it. But then that's only just because you may have been let down. And so you kind of have to do this on your own. But the thing to always remember, if you um, wind up doing something on your own, you have that, there's a better sense of fulfillment because it's something you achieved by yourself. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with a good bit of sense of achievement. So, for Wednesday and Thursday, we have the Ten of Wands. And I like the fact that that kind of looks... That's supposed to be... I'm so very sec. Uh, it looks like a kind of depiction of... Well, Jesus, to be honest, but uh, by the looks of it, it is not. Anyway, so, the Ten of Wands... Um, once again, it's done differently to the riders. With the rider weight, it's a person lugging um, a bundle of wands to, to the amount of ten at least, and kind of pushing them up a hill. Pardon me. So it's usually a way to kind of signify that you're taking too much, or taking on too much at once. In this regard, as they're not carrying them and they're merely above them, it's more that. There's still once again there's a lot there's still a lot to do, and as this kind of has the form of a ladder, it's kind of some of the stuff you're bringing is helping you, so it's actually pushing you forward and helping you achieve. So some of the stuff you're carrying with you are tools you need to progress, but you, um, some of the, so some of them are helping, but others will just be hindrances, or you need some of these to progress further on. And then once you get to your next, so once you get to the top of the ladder here, you still got the other things to deal with at the top here. So what you're carrying with you can be used to your advantage, and can be used to kind of help you to help you once again to help you progress. So you've got these as forming the ladder to help you actually ascend, and that so therefore you're only carrying these four, um, meaning that anything. 
it, these things you, these are the stuff you need to take with you and these are the things that will help you get to where you're going and once you get there then you can use these t to kind of help push forward so that's the most positive I've seen a uh, ten of wands so now we go to uh, the Friday and the weekend and we have the Knave of Cups Sorry, a bit. and this one is the Knave of Chalices so the Knave is usually representative of of learning and he's picking it said it's kind of picking a direction because as you can tell they're pointing so this uh, nave I'm used to calling these pages really but this nave is kind of pointing down so it, he might not necessarily so you might not necessarily be going in the direction everyone wants you to go into or you're not necessarily um, picking the right journey you're not necessarily picking the right route that everyone else thinks you should be so that's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing it's just that some people probably think you're kind of going about it the wrong way or you're taking a making an easy job hard um so that people might not necessarily be seeing your method the your method they only see the madness and so you might be trying to show them a small section of what you have planned run so they might only be seeing the first step or the second step but don't really know or understand the whole picture so they see you doing that let's say part of your grand plan involves you buying milk they only see you buying milk and they don't understand what milk has to do with it but your great plan just involves milk um, it's a very weird uh, uh, scenario there but essentially you've got your big plan but people can't see the big picture they're only looking at the small steps you're taking to get there so sometimes you might get a bit of a pushback but at the same time you've kind of got it worked out and it's kind of working for you and if it works for you and it feels like it's the right thing and way to do it then go for it so overall um, the, the week essentially shows that whatever it is you're uh, progressing on you're kind of doing it on your own which as I said isn't a bad thing it just makes it feel that it's going to be harder to do but then you can get some of your skills and some of the uh, what, as you've been doing this on your own you've kind of learnt how to deal with that so what, what was once a burden has now become a progression so what's, what was once a burden has now become a tool to progress and people might not necessarily see the full picture they can only see it day by day whilst you've planned out for the month as it were so um, that's that's the forecast for the week and we'll move to the outro uh, thanks again for watching uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit that little bell notification you can also check out some of my other videos here and here uh, where I do where I've done some reviews and some unboxings so give them a watch you might enjoy them who knows and uh, once again thanks for watching and I'll see you soon